Thank you very much, Quickshot. Joining me from Fnatic, the veteran Yellow Star and the newest addition to Fnatic, Rainover. First up, a, a huge congratulations to you guys taking down the reigning European champion. Bora, I have to direct the first question to you. With all the roster changes and all the doubt that was in the public opinion about your team, how much of a confirmation is this for you guys that you are here and you're here for the long haul? Well, to be honest, coming into this match, we were kind of confident because I saw the how we progressed, like it went from really something high to something really, really higher. So I had really good expectations from this match. And to me, it would be kind of a failure if it wasn't a win. So yeah, we came out pretty confident and I was quite sure that we were going to take this one. So the way you guys played was was a little different. You know, it was like a lot of roaming, taking down, moving from one lane to the other. We saw we saw you together uh, together with your jungle roaming off our vision and then making picks and then taking down the towers and then you started grouping, right? Is that is that a fanatic style now, or is this just the style you guys pretty much made to counter elements? Because it was a hard counter to their playstyle. Yeah, pretty much. Um, elements is known as a passive team. They are waiting for late game, and you could see it in their pick and ban phase. I mean, they tr they were trying to avoid assassins, and they were taking peelings composition with some of kind of fungages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we knew that if we we're going in a fast-paced game, then they would just not be able to follow us. Yeah, let's actually take a look at a, a replay from very early in the game, if we can get that up on the screen, where you very much showed how you guys were roaming to get the advantage um, and make the plays. So I was really happy to see this re uh, this replay come in, pretty much, because it, it signified like what the style was. And then in Rainover, what was going, like, why, why are you making this decision and, and what was going through your head right now? We can roll the clip and see what happens. So just guide us through the replay and tell us what's happening. So you're ganking mid on Frog, but then you turn around and then yeah, yeah. later uh, Annie comes in with the roam. Is this something you guys do a lot? Uh, if you remember, Lissandra comes down from top lane. Right yeah, now. I just saw yeah, Huni's yeah. coming and then I thought like we're like one person ahead of in this fight. So it is like just, I'm just, if I just open the fight, yeah. then we're going to get the point. So I just open it. It was like kind of yeah risky, but I just open it. Yeah. Is that something you guys do a lot? Just have Huni come down from top lane, have yeah, yeah, come yeah. down from We, we did that a lot, a lot of times, yeah. All right, so that's, a lot. so that's what the other teams I've got to watch out for now then. <laughs> Yeah, actually, when we were talking to Mr. Rallis before, he was saying how strong you were, and people would not expect how you played Huni, um, Rainover, you and Huni coming into that team as the two Korean elements. How much have you, you think, shaped the team and shaped your playstyle specifically? Uh, like me and Huni, like in Korea, like we just like played like like duos on like we ju we just play many games of duo, and then we try lots of things that like what top jungle can do, and then uh, I think like we just know a bit about it, but. Uh, when I join here, like we practice as a team, team yeah. then like we learn what Top Jungle can do at the team. So like, like as this as this game, like, <laughs> like top example. roaming, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that that's that really fits into the team, I think. Yeah, I think the gank on top lane where you actually got wicked and you baited him in was really smart as well. Do you guys speak Korean in game or English? Uh, most of the time, <laughs> like Huni cannot speak English like really well. So me and Huni, like if we try to do something at top, then we just switch to Korean. Yeah, we just say Korean, but like if we are doing it like team, like I just translate what Huni says to them, like mm -hmm. I just say what I want and these things, yeah. Okay, but we have a second replay coming up right now, if you can get it on your screen. And it's basically at one moment in the game, um, I think they catch Huni out, but then you guys react. If we roll the clip, let's see if this is the right clip, if I'm not mistaken. I think they catch Huni here. And basically, is this, do you guys talk right now or is this just purely instinctual, Bora? Uh, yeah, we, we do talk because we were all around, we were gathered and we were ready to fight. So luckily they don't get on Lissandra, which is not the smartest thing because she has her ultimate, she has Zonia, so she can really win times. And then we have like a lot of engages, move speed, so we can just fight around. We have a lot of AoE, so I mean, we were pretty ahead, so it was an easy fight for us. I was just really impressed by, by how quick you guys turned these fights around because multiple times elements tried to catch you guys off guard and engage on you. But it seemed that you guys worked as a perfect team already. Like uh. so quickly, so early in the season, you have pretty much perfect teamwork already. Wait, no, is that? Did it click immediately, or did you guys have to train really hard for that? Oh, uh, yeah, I think yeah, we train really hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not beating around the bush. I mean, it's no shame to be yeah. training really hard. Um, Yellow Star, we talked about how much experience you've had and how important it will be for you to lead this team. What has been your experience in that role? Did you feel the pressure of having to lead the new team to? this new play style and the new attitude? Uh, um, 
I was kind of working in the shade before, in the shadow, I mean. Um, I've always been like the strategy, shot caller, everything. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I feel like now we have less uh, personalities. So it's, we have to build something really new. So everyone is going to listen. We can fit our um, own play style, what fits each other. And there is like no rules and no, no personality, no ego. And I've, I feel like it's way better to pick up new talents and new players like that are really, really motivated and willing to prove that they are really good players. And this is what I want to build. I want really like a strong team that is willing to win, basically having the same goal. Do you feel personally free, the fact that those personalities are um, no longer a factor as of now that you can start with a blank slate? Does that um, well open you up for new things as well? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's a totally new adventure and I'm really excited and that's why we've been working hard for the last 10 days and I'm really happy with the outcome of this. All right, I actually forgot one question, so I'm going back all the way to the start of the game. It looked like you guys were setting up for a lane swap, invading uh, Fnatic's uh, blue um, Elements blue buff there and setting up wards, because I, I thought in my initial mind that Janna Graves would actually uh, beat the Annie Silver lane, but you ended up laning normally. Why was that? Um, no, we didn't really want to lane swap or anything. It was just to um, confuse them, and it, f it yeah. seems that uh, they didn't fall for the trap. But it was fine. We were fine with both situations, so it was good for us. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys very much for joining us. Congratulations! A huge victory for the new lineup of Fnatic here in the very first game of the EU LCS. We need to take a quick break, but when we come back, the Giants Gaming will take on Meet Your Makers tweet at LL Esports with hashtag GIAWin or hashtag MYMWin to tell us who you think will come out on top. Don't go anywhere.